and welcome back to the Power Trip Morning Show live from Shields and Eden Prairie as the crowd goes wild out here today. Oh, yeah, we get a Viking. That, well, that's, yeah, that's, and they that's, start caring that's about exactly the right. Show. It is Toys yeah, for Tots Day, and of course, one of our great partners uh, besides Caribou and Shields is the Minnesota Vikings, and they make players available all day long. We have some great prizes available all day long that you can bid on and be a part of, as well as we continue to raise toys and money for Toys for Tots all day. More on that to come, but right now we have to introduce you to our special guest, brand new Minnesota Viking as of this year, Cam Bynum, everybody. Say hi to Cam, please. How's it going, y'all? Good Welcome camp. to the show. Thank you for having me. Welcome to Shields. Now, I would guess uh, this is probably your first trip into Shields. Have you been into a Shields before? I, yeah, I've been in here like five times so far. My friend lives, uh, works across the street, so I always go visit him at work. He works at the piano store across the street. Shout out Piano World. So every time I go there, <laughs> I come back here and just look around because it's probably the biggest store I've ever been in. Isn't this the best, man? That has to be the first ever shout out to Piano World. Right. Hey, Dude, they, that's great. What do they on? sell there? Pianos, <laughs> the biggest ones I've seen. So, yeah, every time I leave there, I come here, and this is the biggest store I've ever Are you a musician? Yeah, I play a few instruments. Yeah, I play a little bit, right? The yeah, girls man. Yeah. And, Absolutely. Uh, what do you play? Uh, piano's my number one, and then I play wow. bass also. Oh, Man, okay. I, I, we had Thanks. talked about it, Cam, during the break here. Uh, you know, obviously a, a football player, a, a safety, been playing football your entire life. Um, learning to play piano seems way more difficult than that even, man. How, yeah. when, when did you learn to play piano? Um, I started during quarantine, so like a year and a half ago. Oh, no kidding. And that's probably harder than learning anything with football. So I love challenging myself, so that was a new challenge that I've, I want to do my whole life. And now that I had time during quarantine, that was something I wanted to get into and Try and challenge myself as many ways as possible. Hey, M- Moss, didn't uh, didn't like Weatherly play saxophone or something weird? I think it was oboe. Oh, something uh, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe bassoon. Play, uh, he, the didgeridoo. He, he played a I ton think. of instruments. Yeah, right. Yeah, he yeah, can play he a bunch of them. Maybe uh, maybe the Vikings need to get an off-season band going, uh, like, no. a legit band that could go on tour. Yeah, I've got a few teammates. We're working on something, so you guys will. Doesn't Kendrick play too? Is that right? right? I think Kendrick's actually plays. I didn't know that, but there's a there's a few rookies that are musicians. So what's what's your jam? I mean, what is what is yeah, your... what kind of music? Yeah, um, pretty much everything. My teachers um, have kind of made me play everything, so I don't stick to one genre. But I want to be a jazz musician one day. But that's that's a oh, that's, that's super sweet. Tough. That's yeah, awesome. that's super tough. Wow. So I'm, that's years down the road. So I'm trying to learn the basics now. What a cool thing for your brain, though, right? Yeah. I mean, what a different way to use your brain when you're not thinking about football all the time. You play. Uh, you said you play drums a little bit too, and bass. Yeah, no, play just bass, piano, and try to get acoustic guitar going. But that's been a struggle. So I've kind of been lagging on that. Shout out to Guitar World. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And, and drum bass world. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. yeah, bass world. Right. Too. No, Shout I, out to yeah. Them. yeah. That's uh, that's awesome. okay. Well, we can talk football now too. And again, welcome to Shields and Toys for Tots. Thank you for being a part, and thank you yeah. for getting up early. I'm Appreciate it very much. Do you, you like charity? I love charity. Oh, you do. I love, okay. Yeah, I love helping people overall. Most of us do. This yeah, guy, this guy right not. here, though, yeah. you can already feel. He's it. here on uh, community service. Yeah. I feel like it's <laughs> giving money away and getting nothing in return. That's yeah. Maybe for you. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> yeah, take right. Take that. Yeah, for sure, you. sure. That's exactly right. So uh, again, uh, if you're out here and you're you're headed anywhere near us, uh, you can stop by Shields. As Cam was mentioning, they've got everything, but they've got a lot of toys. You can just grab one and drop it in the box while you're here. Uh, but Cam's going to be with us for a little bit longer. First season with the Minnesota Vikings, obviously just coming in as a rookie, but also your first winter in Minnesota. What do you think so far? I'm having fun with it. I'm enjoying it. Bought my first few jackets from Shields actually a nice. weeks ago. So prepared myself and this weekend went and bought sleds. My family came out. So we, we found a hill randomly just driving. We were like, let's go buy some stuff. Bought some winter pants. Did all that and went sledding and try, trying to enjoy it. So, yeah, yeah, a lot different in California. It's pretty yeah. mild. It's going to get brutal, like to the point where you're like, I, I wish anyone else had drafted me. That's how bad it's going to get. It gets brutal. So this like, weekend wasn't brutal? Oh, it gets like minus 10, minus 15 oh. out. Yeah, the, It'll get the, freezing out. The cold yeah, is worse than the snow. 100%. Most of us are, are, are used to the snow. When it gets yeah under zero, it doesn't matter if there's snow or not. It just sucks. Well, I'd rather it be snowing. And oh yeah, cold versus just cold for no reason. Yeah, yeah. the cold yeah. blows. So. Yeah, so uh, I'm guessing uh, Corona, California is pretty nice weather most of the year. Yeah, it's probably like guessing it's probably like 70 degrees right now. Wow, what what is what part of California is? I don't even know. Uh, right in Southern California, probably like halfway in between San Diego and LA. That's oh. the best way to explain. It. Right by Disneyland. 
That, oh, no kidding. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, that that uh, that tells you everything you need to know right Disneyland's there. It's pretty warm badass. out there. Yeah, man. Yeah, pretty I cool. love Never been. I, that's sad. That yeah, car's ride is, is sneaky. That's, that's, that's a sad life. That's that's sad. It is, yeah. yeah. I had a horrible childhood. That's yeah. what we're here for. We're raising money so Paul can actually go Get to you Disneyland. You got a Minnesota. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He had a pretty rough childhood in Minnetonka. I don't know if you're familiar <laughs> with it, but uh, very, very rough childhood. I've heard of the lake. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. That's 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 pretty much it. Yeah. So uh, you uh, play. You had a, a, a lot of success in high school, but I was reading in your bio. It took a long time for you to get up to the varsity level because they kept saying you're undersized. Right. So then you go to college, and they say you're undersized, and then you get drafted into the NFL. I think maybe they need to shut up about you being undersized, right? Yeah. At this point, I don't know what else they can say. It's I've made stuff work, so that's the biggest thing I pride myself in. If, I'm lacking something. I'm going to find a way to win. Musk, the first time I ever heard his name, yeah. it was from Ben Lieber. And it was after, I believe it was a, um, it may have been after um, spring, uh, I, I should say, uh, uh, training camp was over. But he said, this guy throws his body at everybody that comes near him. And that, that was before I even knew anything about you. But that was Ben Lieber's first impression of you as a football player. And that's kind of your trademark, right? Yeah, that's not a bad impression. Um, I, I pride myself in just being, we call it back home, we say just be a goer, just Whatever you do, go. Just don't think. Just play, play ball, and live with the results after. So that's something I've been learning, especially me as a safety now versus being a corner. I'm in the mix. I'm close to the ball, so I could be a lot more physical, run to the ball more, and try and make a bigger impact on the game versus just playing on the outside, getting a lot less action at corner. When you got your first start, it was one of those things where you learned that morning that you were going to start. Right. We hear all the time with, like, when Justin Herbert got his first start, it was, like, last minute. Do you prefer getting your first start, like, knowing the day of, or would you wish you had, like, a week lead up? Um, I'm, glad, I'm glad that I, I learned the morning of just because that's, that really has to test my preparation. If I, if I didn't prepare that week as if I was a starter, I had no clue to the morning, obviously, but if I was lagging in the week and not – preparing myself as if I was going to play, then my first start wouldn't have went the way it did. So that was just all my preparation just paying off at that point because I had no clue, and I'm glad that I prepared the way I did even when I knew I wasn't going to play and ended up being able to play that week. Cam, we've watched uh, a lot of uh, DBs with uh, Zimmer's defense, and it almost seems like you have to do like three years to actually figure out exactly how to play inside <laughs> that, that system. Is it that complex? It's, it's really complex, but it's something that um, was not easy to pick up on, but our coaches do such a good job explaining stuff, and I'm, I'm the type of guy that asks a thousand questions and stays in the meeting room after to study all my notes and just – Probably, I probably bother coaches how many questions I got to ask, um, especially during rookie minicamp and coming into into being a Viking. That's something that I struggled at first. Like, obviously, I was learning a new defense and a new position all at the same time because it's my first year in my life ever playing safety. So, me going from corner to safety and learning a whole new defense that was something that was really complex. But now, once you get it, you realize how effective the defense really is. Again, uh, Minnesota Viking safety Cameron Bynum is our guest. We're live at Shields in Eden Prairie for Toys for Tots. Please stop on by, drop a toy in the box, and hang out, and uh, uh, there'll be players coming through all day long. Uh, talking about your very first start, your very first interception, mm -hmm. goes against uh, somebody by the name of Lamar Jackson. Now, last year you were a college football player. I'm sure you're a giant fan of the NFL. You're watching every – your very first time, though, you, you get a, a, an interception on a player of that caliber – can you believe your life and, and what has happened to you in the last 12 months? Yeah, it's been a blessing. Uh, God is good, first and foremost. But it was just – it was huge for me to be able to, first of all, make a play yeah. and just show myself that I can play with the best of the best. And that's in the most humble way I could say it. And just being able to go in there last second, like we talked about, and play against some their great team and, and me being able to – uh, mostly be able to be accountable for my teammates and be dependable, me coming at the last second and not taking a step back and being the young guy that can step up and show that he can at least survive in there. So that, that was huge for me, just letting myself know that, okay, your hard work is paying off, but there's a lot more work to be done. Do you keep a ball when you intercept it like yeah, that? Yeah, I make sure to keep it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. I would figure what do you do with it? it? It's sitting on, on top of my piano right now. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Prominently displayed in case anybody yeah. comes over. That's pretty yeah, that's You can go see that piano world. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I should probably put it in there since yeah. I bought a piano from there. 
little gift to them. Yeah. What was the uh, what was the transition from being a, a college student into being a, a guy with a significant amount of money right off the bat? Right, it's not like you're you know making thirty million a year yet, but still you have NFL money all right off the bat. So. Was that uh, a fun little experience trying to get used to money management? Oh, uh, yeah. I was able to buy my first piano. So when I first bought it, I was looking for a car wash. And I was like, oh, let's go, go across no the street. Go, <laughs> go into the into a piano or across the street. So that was, that was a big decision I made. That was probably my first bad decision I made as a <laughs> as a, an NFL player buying a, an expensive piano. But that's something that is forcing me to actually practice. But, yeah, for me, money-wise, it's don't really have to manage a lot because I try not to spend a lot right now. So that's just me being smart with it and realizing I'm only in year one. There's really not much to buy yet. So I just I, like that the Vikings now are probably breathing a sigh of relief. Like, do we have to worry about Cam Bynum? Like, nah, he does make some impulse piano purchases. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, Otherwise, pretty, I'm a square. Otherwise, he's pretty lame. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm a square. I'll say that myself. That's good, though. Yeah. It's protect your career, man. It's smart. What's it like... Uh, practicing and playing every day with Patrick Peterson and Harrison Smith. Oh, it's, it's crazy. Just seeing the way they prepare and see how they come about the game and uh, seeing their preparation and focus throughout the week and seeing, what, they're ten, year 10 and year 11 for Pat, and they're still ultra laser focused every single day, like acting like they're not in, they haven't been in it for 10 years because technically they don't have to watch film at this point. They've been in it 10, 10 plus years. And they still, you see the amount of film they watch and their preparation and how hard they go and practice. It's like, okay, I got a lot of work to be, to be done if I want to be anywhere near them. And there's, you can't, you can't get comfortable no matter how good you get. Cause I obviously I've only played a significant amount of playing time for two games. I'm like, okay, that's cool and all, but they've done it every game, 10 years plus. So there's a lot of more work to be done. Well, Cam, we won't keep you forever. Cause I know you're about to do a giant shopping experience out here for toys for tots did you ever watch or have you even heard of the game show supermarket sweep no i haven't okay you're about to do it <laughs> basically they're going to give you a cart and you're going to run through the store and just shovel toys into that cart from oh, what i'm hearing tight. yeah that's that's something you see on tv so i'm excited <laughs> absolutely what's your favorite toy all time outside of uh, your piano <laughs> i used to be obsessed with cranes that was, really? that was a weird little thing i was obsessed with as a kid like having a little crane trying to pick up little other toys. It was weird. That was like something, like probably the most fav my favorite thing I've ever got for Christmas. And when it broke, I was, I was heartbroken. And RC cars. Oh, I, I was in RC cars forever, too. They got both of those right over there in the toy aisle. Yeah, so, uh, so. Did you, you know, ever uh, get into video games, or were you outside and exercising? Um, I did for like two years, but... Then I realize I'm throwing my life away. That is not <laughs> true. That's not true. I played a ton of video games. And we're no longer Kids, don't friends. Don't play games. Yeah. Uh, Kids, don't get outside. Go play outside. Go build some jumps and ride bikes. Uh, there's dangerous yeah. stuff outside. Oh. You got to get hurt in life to be able to learn how to bounce back. That's that's what I learned. That's why I play piano instead of watching Netflix. So. Well, I'll tell so you. You're not watching Netflix either? No, I haven't watched the show. Oh, Until, stra until Stranger Things comes out, that's the, that's the next show I'll watch. Anything else? I'm practicing my instrument to watch. God, you're trying to better yourself. It makes us sick. Uh, <laughs> I love this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Kim yeah. Bynum, everybody, our new Heart favorite did. Minnesota Viking. Thank you for stopping by. Good luck out there with the toys, man, and great luck with your uh, your career with Thank the Minnesota you, Vikings, hopefully, for your entire it. career, man. It's great yeah, to meet you. Thank, Thank you very much. One more time, Kim Bynum, everybody. Kim Bynum, everybody. Pouch of Morning Show live from Shields. Toys for Tots, we are here until, of course, we're done at 9, but the, uh, the entire day's broadcast is happening out here at Shields. So come on by, right, Corey? Uh, Netflix and video games are 99% of my life. That's I gotta all you do. I'm going to reevaluate the rest of my day. Yeah, Cam just <laughs> said that you're wasting your life. And he's right. <laughs> yeah, he's right. He's 100% <laughs> right. He gets it. He gets it. Uh, more of the Power Trip Morning Show. Again, Toys for Tots, live from Shields in Eden Prairie. This is the Power Trip Morning Show on The Fan.